the engine indicator light is on. This can be a sign of wear in the chain wheel. First select the fault. The camshafts are not in their basic position. Check the diagnostics in the engine. Remove four camshaft hall sensors. To do this, undo these two screws on each side. Then turn the crankshaft into the correct position, making sure to go with the rotation direction. The arrow on the housing cover forms a line with the 305 degree marker. When the mark of the pulse wheel is in the center of the hall sensor hole, then the camshaft is positioned correctly. The left intake camshaft is OK. But the right exhaust camshaft has shifted. To ascertain why this is the case, adjust the basic position of the camshafts. You'll find this out in the star diagnosis document on screen. So that you can see the process more clearly, we'll show you the next steps using a model. First, remove the front lid of the right cylinder head. Then remove the following components successively. The secondary air pump, the belt guide pulley, the coolant thermostat, the belt tensioning device, and the oil filter case with the heat exchanger. Then the left front lid of the cylinder head can also be taken off. Using the crankshaft center screw, turn the engine to 40 degrees after the ignition TDC. To show you better, the pulse wheels are removed. Now check the position of the camshafts once more. These five points form an alignment. In contrast to the right intake camshaft, the line and the point marker do not form a line. Next, undo the center screw of the vibration damper and take the vibration damper off. Please follow the tips for using the retaining lock. Then remove the water pump. Now remove the ignition coils. To do this, undo the plugs. On installation, fasten the ground wire tight again. This way you avoid subsequent damage to the engine control module. Now take off the centrifugal lid. Afterwards, take off the cylinder head covers. Caution! If the covers are damaged on removal, the complete cylinder head must be exchanged. Afterwards, unscrew the chain adjuster. Renew it when installing. Next, remove the timing case. Undo the screws from the bottom, working your way up. Start with the oil pan. The last four screws are at the top of the casing. With a magnet, these can be taken out easily. Make sure that the screws do not fall in the timing case. And with that, you can take off the timing case. Remove the gasket from the coolant passage. And now check the chain wheel in the offset shaft. This shows wear and must therefore be renewed. You'll find information about the removal and installation in the following document. Before reinstalling, check the timing. In the chain wheel of the crankshaft. In the weight of the balancer shaft. and in the intake camshaft and exhaust camshaft of the right and left cylinder head. The installation occurs in the reverse order. For the final step, we go back to star diagnosis. Under control unit adaptations, first reset the adaptation data. Follow the instructions. 
Then under Teach-in Process, choose Teach-in Process after an engine exchange. First do the adaptation of the camshaft position and afterwards carry out the process. Once the actual values are OK, the teaching process is finished. Finally, erase the fault memory. Now the engine indicator light has gone out.